We have already seen that isotopes of elements have the same number of protons, since they're the same element, and the same number of electrons, but they have different numbers of neutrons in their nucleus. Isotopes of the same element are chemically identical, since they have the same arrangement of electrons, but because they have different numbers of neutrons, they will have different physical properties, such as density. We can use the mass spectrometer to find out the relative abundances of different isotopes of an element, and this is based on this principle that the isotopes have different densities. Let's take this scenario here with a hairdryer to see how. Imagine we have three balls of equal size, a table tennis ball, a tennis ball, and a golf ball. Of course, they all have different densities. If the lightest ball passes in front of the hairdryer, it undergoes a large deflection because of its low density. A tennis ball of the same size will also be deflected, but less than the table tennis ball because of its greater density. Lastly, the golf ball will be deflected least because it has the greatest density. The principle is exactly the same in the mass spectrometer, except rather than a hairdryer, we use an electromagnet. This is because a charged particle moving through a magnetic field will experience a force. If all our isotopes have a charge of plus one, then the amount they are deflected will depend entirely on their densities, and in this way we can separate the isotopes of an element to find the abundance of each. To see more samples of our materials like this, specifically designed for Liebingser chemistry, register now for free.